Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about an awesome batch plugin that I just have created and updated. It is the button function version 2.0, and using the get input plugin by Akini, I have made it much more advanced than it was previous, and it is now much easier to use because I am getting feedback from my one of my pal Mr. Papertronics that the usage is quite complex of the button function so in this version I am reducing the effort and amount of work by the programmer the function itself does all the work and it will be quite easy and simple to use this plugin so without any more talks let's directly jump into the plugin so here the button function is of 5 kb of batch plugin and it uses these much amount of batch functions that are 4 batch functions out of which get input and bad box are two awesome things that are making it much more advanced so before talking about how to use it let's see the amazing output on the cmd console as you can see here there are a lot of buttons on the console i have created approximate all color combos that are possible with batch colors so as you will etch over on these buttons they will change according to that and now you can check which button is clicked so if i will click on button 5 it is saying button number 5 is clicked so button number 11 is clicked and you can detect the button click and the mouse etch over makes it much more advanced than it was before so this is my special color combo i like this combo because in this method here we are just inverting the colors because if the text color is in the button 3 if the text color is black and the background color is that color cyan and if i will etch over it it is inverting the color so now the background is black and the text is cyan so but in my that special combo what i am doing is i am just reducing the color intensity because it is f0 before without h over and after h over it is 70 so it is making user more comfortable than this sudden change in the h over so let's talk about the code which is quite smaller uh, let's open it in sublime text editor and now as you can see here let me close the other things and as you can see here that a simple code then there is a loop small loop what we are doing is clear the screen and the changing the background color and here uh, like the button function version 1 we can also give button function version 2 multiple buttons in a single go and it will print all the buttons instead of giving the code for the button in this version what we are doing is we are taking the x and y coordinates for the button from the user and the text and the color only four parameter we have removed all the unnecessary last two parameters and the, there is no logic in getting the in generating the code for the button and user will print it because it creates the a lot of mess in the main code so here what we are using is we are asking the user to provide the x and y coordinates for the button to print and after that we are taking that input and generating buttons and printing on the console and but how many buttons you want to print doesn't matter but in after the last button that you printed you need to specify x because x is the terminating character here it will tell the function that the sequence is stopped and there are no button options available now you have printed all the option all the buttons necessary and after the x you need to write two parameters the name of the two variables so here in the box like in the menu bar function here in the box the button function is returning the area of the button in this variable and 
pardon me for that in this variable the area of the button and it is returning the h over color of the button in this variable h over you can use the box by the slash m command of the get input and slash h command the h over so here what i am using i am displaying the last button as my special button so here i am reducing the last three points last three characters from the h over and adding a seven zero you can also create all the buttons with the same color just remove this you it is not mandatory to use this variable but the function will provide you this variable so it's up to you if you want to use it or not here in this case i'm not going to use it and i'm going to save it let's see what the output now so all the buttons are generated and when you will edge over it so all the buttons will be have the same edge over color but the non edge over color will be different so it is it seems quite nice than the previous output so if i will click on button 15 it will be button number 15 clicked and this button should be 16th button and yeah it is 16 button so all you need to do is you need to know the sequence in which you have generated the buttons and printed them and you must assign them ids so button 1 has id 1 button 2 has id 2 so so that when the get input function will tell you that which button is clicked and in the error level variable you can use that id compare to compare that which button is clicked and do according to that in your main code that's all for now i hope you like it feel free to subscribe thanks for watching please share this video with your friends so bye bye